what is up everybody welcome to another video today we're going to be playing some overwatch switching things up on the channel um for those of you who don't know i do play a ton of overwatch uh off recording off stream and all that stuff so i figured why not i record some of the gameplay some of the time most of the time it's not even good enough to post i don't even know if this one's good enough to post but this is kind of like um a, a lesson that everybody already knows that basically an individual performance cannot win you a game in overwatch which is why i love and why i hate overwatch at this the very same time but um you'll see here that i i think i perform pretty well i mean my teammates consi cons consistently told me that i couldn't speak while recording an overwatch video no they they consistently told me uh that you know tracer wasn't the answer and like i know gold medals don't mean anything and i i even say this in in the game but like i i'm just like as a as a tracer player it's like i feel like she's like a hanzo where it's, she's so easy to blame Fashion she's like so dude. easy to blame and i'm sorry about the the voice the people talking they honestly don't talk that much in the game but it's kind of humorous this is really embarrassing by the way don't watch this i was just trying to get them to fall off the choke point i didn't care if i really lost my life there but uh i'm also cutting out the deaths so hopefully this speeds up the video and maybe it's like under 15 minutes which would be uh right where i want these kinds of gameplay videos but uh i digress either way you'll you'll hear some of the voice comms right. later and they're pretty humorous think, um, as yeah diva mm -hmm. against literally two people that counter you is not gonna work so he's ripping the diva um as so the well. anna which i i don't yeah. know what the anna has done so far but either way uh we actually turn the tides right here i start to capture i don't want to give my position away so i don't shoot uh like too early so i get destroyed i wanted to wait till my team got there before opening fire uh and they had a bastion which we were countering very well but my team kept harping on the fact that they had a bastion it was really the pocket mercy that was like uh carrying this game for them for a while uh basically the pocket mercy would sit on the bastion and when the bastion would die she would res as you saw right there um, and she also stood on the Reaper a lot. And the Mercy was their best player by far. But the team just had... They just kept saying it was the Bastion uh, that was ruining us. And really, it wasn't. But this is a really good take here. I don't know if I end up dying. I think I might. There's so much shit happening. I don't know how I didn't die earlier. Um, but yeah, this video is... It's just a fun video. It's just a gameplay video. There's nothing, uh, you know, too crazy that happens. But I think it's pretty entertaining. I had fun doing it. And uh, it's also another lesson in... And I don't want to spoil anything, but it's also another lesson in not every good video or every good gameplay or every fun Overwatch game can be, it has to result in a win. Like, uh, I had a really good time in this game, even though my teammates were not the best. That's what you get. I was solo queuing here, just uh, to preface that. Um, and I was trying to focus the bash in here, just trying to get him out of position. As you see, he still has his, po his pocket mercy, and then he wraps around to go up top, and teammates are like, Bastion's up top, Bastion's up top. They, um, they really were scared of the Bastion. And I think that's something that happens in Overwatch. And I think I'm, uh, I'm right, a part Bastion. of the problem. But basically, you focus on something. And it's like, Bottom it right, almost right. plagues your game. Because, like, that's all you're focusing on. It's like, you're not even focusing on uh, the Pocket Mercy on the Reaper. You're basically just looking where Bastion is. And that's, that's the whole... That's like the rigmarole of, like, picking different characters. Um, yeah, see? Right there. I don't know if Tracer is working, uh, he said in team chat. And uh, uh, up to this point, honestly, I, I feel... I think it's Bastion and he switched off. So. I feel like um, I had a lot to do with the pro the progress team. of the cap, but I, I, what do I know? I, I'm not that good. I think I'm a 2600 that. rank, which uh, is not that great in the grand scheme of things. Um, most players... Look, that res was ridiculous. That's why I'm saying their mercy was the, the MVP for sure. I got out of that Roadhog hook. I have no idea how, and then ended up maybe killing him? No, but he died shortly after I left by the Winston. Um, I just really enjoy playing Tracer, and it just kind of bugs me that it has, like, that same Hanzo uh, aura about it. It's like if somebody picks Tracer or Hanzo, instant reactions are usually like, oh, why? Why are they doing this? Why are they picking this character? It's it's weird. It's like... But now if they do switch Bastion, we have a Genji. <laughs> a Genji? <laughs> Even um, <laughs> just roasting this kid when he has no way to talk back. That's nice. Um, it's weird, though, because like I was watching some pro games, and Tracer is so prevalent in a lot of them. Um, but as you'll see later in this video, on defense, I do end up switching to May, and I think it's a perfect switch. And uh, I think I have a really strong side as May, but 
I guess you'll see how that all unfolds as the time comes. But yeah, hope you're enjoying some Overwatch on the channel. Uh, I, I like doing the post comms just because it gives me damn, Lucio. gives me a time to to reflect on the game. But this part of coming up is very interesting. Um, wait, is it here? Oh no, I'm sorry. It's when I'm on May. It's at the same spot when I'm on May. Uh, honestly, I thought that was a teammate doing that ult, that Zarya ult. So I was like, oh dude, throw the Q here. But it actually panned out for me. I killed their Zarya, who was the one that ulted there. Um, but yeah, in that position when I'm May, uh, it's pretty ridiculous what happens. It's uh, amazing, actually. Oh, yep, yep, yep. That's why you save your E as Tracer right there. Uh, I always forget about that hole, and that hole actually comes back to haunt me later. I don't know why I'm talking so much about later on in the match. Um, here is a really good example of why Tracer is so strong. Um, right here is I flank, right? I flank and I'm getting all their attention. So basically right now, they could be capping the or pushing the payload, right? Because I have the Reinhardt all off of it. And for some reason, they're, my Reinhardt falls? Like that kind of confused me. I guess because the McCree was there? I don't know. They seem very scared. So I had to retreat with them uh, and kind of reset here uh, um, because they were, they were, get, they were uh, getting the idea that I was, you know, being a pest in the back there. Um, horrible Q right there. I thought I could stick the Roadhog. So that's what happens sometimes. Like, the Roadhog will peek out of the shield. Or any character. Roadhog is a good example because he's really easy to hit because he's really big. But you could stick one of their characters and then they walk through the shield and go on their teammate's side of the shield and blow up num uh, numerous people. Uh, that Reaper just wrecked us. I don't think I cut out this death. Whoops. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Didn't cut out this death. But this is the... Um, for people who don't really play Overwatch, this is what happens. You kind of spectate for a couple of seconds. Uh, and in these videos, I thought it would be nice to just, you know, hurry it along, get to the action, and uh, even skip out some of the running back to the point. Here, no one touched it. I see a Winston bubble over there, but he did die, I guess. But we had, we had like, I don't know. I felt like we could have touched it there. Uh, yeah, that's where me and my teammates started getting at it because they kept just, you know, saying that, you know, Tracer wasn't the right pick and... I was gold in, uh, like, three or four things. I think damage was taken away from me at the end there. Uh, I ended up silver in damage done. But as Tracer, you shouldn't even be that close. You know, I know medals don't don't say everything, but they tell a story. What the, what the story is is that the other DPS on your team maybe isn't carrying their weight, you know? I know Tracer is a decent damage dealer, but she's more of an annoyance. She's supposed to be an annoyance. But here you guys see uh, we switch as, uh, to May. Hope this isn't too like fast-paced action. I know I'm I'm assuming some people that are watching this don't really play Overwatch or haven't really watched much Overwatch, I'm assuming. Um so I apologize if it is too fast-paced, but um it it's it, Overwatch is it, it looks more confusing than it is. And it, it when it, when you really break it down, it's pretty simple. Um it's a pretty simple game. It's just a lot going on screen. I think it confuses people. Um, use my alt there after throwing up a ice wall. We only got one out of it, but we made the Roadhog retreat. He comes back with the ult, and uh, of course their Mercy rezzed. Their Mercy has been very good. We get this Tracer, though, and she wasted her ult. I don't think she killed anybody. Or do we not get the Tracer? No, I don't. I let her go. I let her go up there. Yep, that's, uh, that's embarrassing. We didn't get her at all, but we're still holding the A point. Uh, for at least a, a couple more minutes here. Let that wheel go through and then pop up the wall. I don't think he gets anybody with the wheel. I think it was actually already killed. Let me take a drink here. Here's the tracer again. We might get her here, yeah. We get her there. Also, let me know in the comments. Who's your favorite hero? I'm, I'm curious to who you guys play. A lot of people say, like, oh, you're not supposed to really main heroes. Uh, like, that's why Overwatch is so great because you have to be, like, you know, agile in who you play. And, uh... But, like, I'm curious. Who do you guys play the most? I'm, I'm interested. Good wall there to, uh, to stop that Roadhog. Poor McCree got stuck there. But, actually, the McCree... I don't know if he meant to do that, but he ran into the Tracer and killed her with her own ult. I tried to save the point there. I queued on it, and then I tried to get around, and I realized it wasn't a good idea. So, I put up a wall, and then I go into my little ice cube here because you regain health when you're in that ice cube. It's one of her abilities, one of May's abilities, along with the ice wall. Thought I was going to get caught out here by the soldier, and I think I end up getting away. That was a good wheel. Got two kills there on the junk rat with the junk rat. Ult. 
Uh, I'm just trying to delay them. I'm just trying to slow up the, the payload here. Uh, I kind of get myself in a sticky situation, which I don't think I get out of, but maybe it was a bit too aggressive. It's all right. And uh, after watching that back a second time, I didn't have to sh I didn't have to ice cube that soon because he, he actually stopped swinging for some reason. Um, but yeah, as you can see, they they progressed the payload a lot in those couple of seconds when I was dead. They basically pushed it all the way up here, uh, which is a little weird. But here's what I was talking about. So I'm on the payload right now, right? People yeah. are alting. And they're talking about nobody being on the payload. Like nobody stopping the payload. I ulted and Zenyatta, being the trooper he is, ulted as well. Um, still on the payload. I I'm by myself at this point. There is like two tanks on the other team and some DPS. I'm still by myself here. Um, there's some people back there just kind of, you know, know sticking behind is. the wall. But he literally just said, I don't know why that is. Like, why do no one wants to stop it at all. Nobody wants to stop the payload. I've still yet to let it get to the checkpoint. And then I finally meet my demise. <clears throat> but if I said that didn't trigger me, I would be lying. That definitely triggered me. Uh, and as you'll see, I think I think I hold it for even longer coming in here. Um, as you can see, the kill feed up there on the top right. Our team's just getting wiped. Uh, just absolutely wiped. I only died nine times. And I, I oh, yeah, May, watch the walls. Yeah, yeah. May, watch the walls, dude. Watch the walls. I don't even remember what I would have done there uh, to annoy him with a wall. But, I, yeah, I don't know. You guys will see here. At this corner here, I hold it a lot. Again, by myself. Still, I'm like, where's the Reinhardt? Finally, he comes up on the right there. I actually say in game there, I was like, where are our tanks? First of all, we only have one tank. And that Reinhardt was just like, he's just never on the point. I'm the only one on the point. And I know it's not outlandish. I know it's not outlandish for May to be on the point all the time. Like, I know that's, you know, kind of what she's for is to slow up momentum. But it's like, we have tanks. We, we need, like, them to eat up the damage. I can't eat up that much damage, but I somehow stay alive for most of this push here. I think I get a snipe on Soldier. Boink. Boink. Right in the head. But, yeah, we have such a good stand right here. Oh, man. I'm sorry. I'm out of breath. Uh, doing a lot of post-com in a row here. It's, I'm talking for, like, what am, what am I at right now? 13 minutes straight? It's not easy to talk for 13 minutes straight, but I, I enjoy the post-com just because they're so different. You know? It's not like something I normally do. Uh, yeah. I had to lower the audio there because he, his mic was so loud all game. Um, held the point for a little bit longer there. Uh, got the kill on the Reinhardt. Killed the Roadhog. Um, there's a soldier ulting in the back. Reaper coming up from behind. He had a retreat as well. Watch this ice wall. Money, dude. Money. Look at this. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. Got him. We're just doing so good here, man. Like, so good. And the one time I die. The one time I die. It's, it's like, GG. G freaking G. Don't want to spoil it, but I kind of did already. Um, it's just like, I don't know, man. I felt so good about it. I felt so good about it. I, was, I don't play May that often. I was like playing good as her. Um, but like I said in the beginning, it, it, it was a fun game. Like whether we won or lost, it was a fun game. And uh, it really shows how important a whole team is. Uh, you cannot win it on your own. I hear a Reaper above me. A Roadhog's to the left. I know this isn't good because none of my teammates are getting any kills right now. And there's people flanked. Um, I'm paying attention to the payload just because that's like my main priority right now because no one else wants to. Uh, and I know the flanking enemies will probably come back to hurt us. Uh, and right here, this Lucio bump, I think. I don't remember. He drops the beat. Oh, it was the Reinhardt push. No, I saved myself there. I saved myself there. And I'm holding the point still. The Rein our Reinhardt, to his credit, is doing some work uh, on the payload. But um, uh, meets his demise by a Lucio. And I'm still alone on the payload. Here's where it all ends. Right there. All it took was me to get pushed off the map by the Roadhog ult. And uh, yeah, that, I think, does it. I don't think there's much. I don't think they stop him at all. Yeah. There it is. Uh, they didn't have to get to the end, but... They had to push it a little bit longer. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please leave it a like. Let me know that you enjoy this kind of stuff. I know it's different, and I know it Overwatch isn't everybody's cup of tea, but it is my cup of tea, and I do enjoy playing. So when I get interesting footage like this and uh, feel like doing a little post-com, I'm going to throw it up on the YouTube. Again, hope you guys enjoyed.
Thank you for watching. Until next time, stay safe, stay up, peace out.